You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to Greater Brockton, Tina Curtin. Welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me on. You're doing the annual fundraiser? Yes, this is the Lindsay E. Curtin Memorial uh, Legacy Gala Scholarship uh, Dinner Reception. And um, right now, there aren't a lot of functional facilities around in Brockton. So you moved it to Randolph, to Lantana, correct? That is correct. That okay. is correct. Um, I know the Shaw Center is in transition. That is Lantana correct. is a beautiful place, though. It is a beautiful place, but um, we're very familiar with the setup at the Shaw Center, and it was very short um, notice. You had the invitations already to go, yes, from what I understand, Yes, right? the invitations were already printed okay. and ready to go. And okay. so then, um, unfortunately, um, we had to redo them over again, which then took time, mm -hmm. which then delayed getting them out, right. which then in turn the time to get them back to me, right. which is February 11th. Okay. So we haven't really had that many people respond back to us, and we usually sit down about 225 people right. to a sit-down dinner. This year the theme is going to be um, the Irish step dances. Lindsay was a former Irish step dancer. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to um, do an Irish theme this year and bring back some of her dances. Mm -hmm. And um, the Irish step dancers will be dancing, performing for us this year. And uh, they're going to do five or six songs. Mm -hmm. And um, Lindsay's costume will be up on a riser with a, with a nice light on it while they dance in memory of Lindsay. Is this the school that she trained in, or are um, these different dances these are from different, different schools? Different dances. They're um, okay. older um, than Lindsay. Some are. Uh, there's going to be a mixed combination of them. Because Irish step dancing is little, little. Yes. All the way up to that is full fledged adults. That's I right. Mean, yes, that's correct. Um, my friend Matt McDonough, who's registered probate, his mm -hmm. wife runs one of those schools. Yes. And every year the Plymouth County League has a, uh, a St. Patrick's Day dinner, and yes. they usually have Irish step dancers. That's there. right. That's is right. Is there Irish food too? Um, actually, we're not going with the Irish food. Okay, just food. checking because no, it's after. It's, it's after St. Patrick's Day. Right? Um, you know, it's actually February 25th. Oh, I'm sorry, February 25th. And that's March. Before. That's March. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, okay. um, so you're giving us the preview on the dances. We're giving the preview on the dances, and then um, what we're going to do is um, we have a bagpiper out in the parking lot mm -hmm. who will play for us, and then we'll do our video, a short video of Lindsay, yeah. and then... Uh, we'll have a prayer and a cocktail hour starts at 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. 6 to 7, 7 5, Deacon Joe says prayer. Mm -hmm. And then we will sit down to a nice video of Lindsay and um, some memorable moments. Mm -hmm. And there's three songs, three of um, Lindsay's favorite songs, actually. Okay. And um, again, this is the 11th annual. Um, we're trying to get anybody that's... Anybody that would like to come is welcome to come. They just have to contact me. Um, they, we don't sell tickets. Right, so tell, tell them how to contact you. Okay, they can reach me at itsforlindsay at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Or they can call me at 508-958-1035. Mm -hmm. And then I can just get their name and information. It is $70 for a ticket. Mm -hmm. And that includes the cocktail hour and the dinner. And we have uh, three choices of um, entrees. Um, the first one is chicken caught on blue. Mm -hmm. The second one is a pork loin um, encrusted with provolone cheese and peppers and so forth and yeah. with a Madeira sauce. And the third one is a four cheese lasagna mm -hmm. with no meat. And then a vegan meal upon request. Wow. Pretty good. Sounds yes. good. Yes, it does. It's a nice. It's a nice menu. Uh, chocolate cake for dessert, and um, it's it's going to be a lovely evening. And again, um, we're doing this um, as a tribute um, because Lindsay actually um, she wanted to go to Ireland for graduation. Mm -hmm. Her she her roots go back to Ireland. Dave, my husband, yeah, uh, his family is from Ireland. Dave's mother came over when she was fifteen. So we promised Lindsay would take her for graduation. However, she passed away 10 weeks shy of graduation. Mm -hmm. So needless to say, we did not make it there and have no intentions of going. But yeah. um, but she really has, in her heart, she was island all the way. Yeah. So, 
I, I'm hoping to get there one of these days. I have a best friend that lives in London, okay. and uh, she has a place in Ireland, too. Mm -hmm. One of my best friends from high school. So uh, one of these days, except my wife doesn't like to fly. Oh, so I don't so know how I'm going to pull that one That's off. a problem. We're gonna, we're yes. gonna, I'm going to have to figure it out. I yes. want to go all over the place. My dad was born in Cuba. I want to go uh, there. Oh, okay. And I want to go to Israel, and I want to uh, go here, and I want to go know. there. But tell me when. I know. Okay, I'm going to Denver in March for a school committee conference. Oh, okay. Um, and then I'm hoping to go to Rotary in Atlanta in June. But my dad's been sick, as you know. Right, and that's right. I have a hard time going away. I'm always I worried know. something's going to happen. You know how that is. I know. Well, okay. we have a dog that Dave worries about. So, yeah. I mean, everybody is an issue. Dave, to board the dog, it just can't even go like in a regular <laughs> kennel. It has to go in a suite, and, you know, you have to book the suite, and the dog won't eat or go to the bathroom or anything else. So to even get away, just the two of us, I mean, we we need time away, um, trust me, but it's leaving the dog, so um, I know I know I, what you're feeling. I don't, <coughs> I'm going to have a coughing fit, I'm sorry guys, but um, I don't want to upset you or yes. make you cry or anything like that, but <coughs> tell us about Lindsay. Okay. And tell us, I mean, 11 years later, I know you struggle with it every day. Every day. Um, but you look at the beautiful picture of Lindsay, you look at the <coughs> artwork you've created, and all the good you've done with all the scholarships to help people. Yes. Um, how do you keep going, doing what you're doing, and why is it important for people to come and help out with this cause? Because I think when I see you at Scholarship Night, it's a wonderful thing that you want to turn something positive into something okay. unfortunate that happened. Yes. Lindsay um, was 17 years <coughs> old. She was a senior at Cardinal Spellman, and her dream uh, was to be a, a trauma surgeon. She was always, she had cystic fibrosis. She passed away from complications. Um, her liver failed, and then her kidneys failed, and then she went into multi-organ failure. Um, she was scheduled for transplant um, seven hours before transplant. It was called off. Uh, Lindsay passed two days later. Um, she was fine, doing great, um, and it was just, it happened quickly. She developed ascites, which is swelling of the abdomen, and uh, they said she needed the organ right away, the liver, and um, she, she didn't get it. So anyways, um, we keep Lindsay's legacy alive because Lindsay loved people. She loved everybody. She held on a job at Abington Animal Hospital. She was a cheerleader. She was president of the student council. Um, she was very involved with school. Um, my husband and I, it is important for us to always um, keep her memory alive by giving these scholarships out to other students because my husband and I only had Lindsay as one child. Right. So by giving out these scholarships, we have given out 59 wow. in her memory. And um, we have gained 59 um, children. I yeah. guess you could call yeah, them young absolutely. people, That's nice. students, um, but to us, their family. Um, so uh, Lindsay um, loved school. She did very well in school. She um, was incredible. Uh, she loved everything and she loved people. Her feeling was she wanted to heal, not hear. So by being a trauma surgeon, they come in, usually unconscious. She wanted to heal them. She did not want to hear the complaints. She just wanted, she wanted to, to heal, heal them. them. So, That's right. So I'm going to just reiterate real quick the, because they're giving me the high sign. I okay. could talk to you forever about this. I you know. and I met at one of the I graduations know. and we've been talking for years. Uh, February 25th, yes. 6 o'clock p.m., Lantana in Randolph. 43 Scanlon Drive. 43 Scanlon Drive. Um, to f get more information, it's for Lindsay at gmail.com or call 508-958-1035. Correct. We'll see you there, Tina. Thanks again, Mark. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Us. Glad to. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.